Hello everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of The Daily Rogue, an unedited series that I'm going to be doing, not daily, but, you know, as much as possible, so the title is already aligned, where I play a roguelike, such as Spelunky here, but there will be other games as well, and see how far I can get when I die, the video ends, and that's it for the day. Luckily, Spelunky has a daily challenge, so we'll be doing that, which suits me just fine because I play Splunky on my laptop a lot and I just downloaded it on my PC and as it turns out there's no cloud saving for Splunky so we're starting from scratch we're gonna be the mine this is our character but in Splunky you can die very quickly there's some instant death oh I probably shouldn't have worried about skull oh. but yeah I did a series on this channel uh, I've already lost a health point <laughs> not the best at Splunky I'm not bad though, I've got like 9 hours of it. Um, but yeah, hopefully many more. I am just going to turn the music down one tad more so I can kind of hear myself speak. Oh. There we go. But yeah, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm currently out of a video editor and this seems like a fun series to do while I figure stuff out. Um, also, kind of always throw pots because you never know what's in them. This is the pug, if you're not familiar with Spelunky, you uh, you deposit a pug at the end of a level. If the pug's alive, you get a little kiss. You get a little a little lick. There we go. And now we've got an extra life point. So that's kind of important to do when possible. These things are arrow traps. I'm not going to go through every aspect of the game because I don't think a lot of people will probably be familiar with Spelunky. Hopefully, this video will attract a lot of people who it's blanky. But I was kind of inspired to do this by Norman Lyon. I don't watch his videos, but like, just the idea of like, the insane amounts of parts he's got in roguelike games. I just like the idea of doing something like that. And so I've had this idea in my head for like, ooh, that was stupid. <laughs> I've had this idea in my head for like a week, but I've been able to act on it because I've been on my laptop, which can't record shit. Okay. I could grab the ledge. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Are you ready for this? Oh! Okay. I didn't grab the ledge, but luckily that wasn't enough fall damage to kill me. One more block and it would have been. Okay. You can also hurt yourself if you're in falling rocks, so you gotta be careful for that. God, I hate bats. I always lose health to bats. See, I could buy a bit of health here, but this is a daily challenge and it's kind of all about the high score. So I think actually I will leave it. It's mostly about high score and how far you can go as well. Oh, I thought I would open the chest. Ah! Fuck, that was really stupid. Right. <laughs> can I just. No, okay. I also tend to die more when I'm recording commentary at the same time. I should probably focus on getting some gems instead of just hightailing it out the end. Ooh, there's a key there. So yeah, I'm quite annoyed because I was I was progressing through Spelunky decently. What's that again? Okay, it doesn't say. Um, <laughs> I was progressing through at a fairly decent pace. I got the shortcut unlocked for the third set of levels, the ice caves. And I was wa working on the fourth, which is quite difficult. You need to take that key all the way through to the end. Um, and that was quite a bit of progress, but now I've got to do it all over again because no cloud saving. I think Splunky came out in like 2012. I don't know if cloud saving Ooh. was that big of a deal back then. Yeah, nothing really interesting in there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god. I forgot how scorpions work. I'm also being very reckless because this act, this set of levels, is just full of arrow traps. Uh. Also, the princess or the pug, or whatever you want to call her, she just she just up and runs whenever you put her down. It's kind of annoying. You're not fooling me, Mr. Spider. 
Aha. Okay, don't know what all these explosions are about, but I think we're gonna get out of here. So this is Act 2, the jungle caves. And there's some horrible instant death here. I think I find the ice caves easier than the jungle caves, to be honest. Because there's tiki totem things. They're a nightmare. Stand next to them and they spike you and immediately kill you. This is actually kind of better than I've been doing lately in my daily runs. Also, those guys can instantly kill you, if I remember right. Uh, there we go. Not gonna risk the pug. Cavemen can be mean. Probably nowhere near as mean as later levels. Oh god. Out of here. But yeah, that's why I'm getting so many journal entries right now. That's the only way down. Okay. Also, if you're not familiar with Splunky, you can't spend too long in one level. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. That's okay. Okay. Oh, I have one heart left. I'm gonna try and risk it up on this thing. But it can't stay too long in one level because otherwise ghosts come after you. Oh god. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Can I swim? I don't remember. I can. Okay. Let's get this primer so. God, this is hell. How am I gonna do this for it? Damn. Okay. Well, that's the end of this episode. That was kind of a difficult situation. I'm sure a better player could have could have maybe gotten that, but I, I, I alas could not. Um, if you're interested, I'm currently ranked 640th for the day. There is the sound of running water in the background because it's bugged out. That's nice. But uh, yeah, so. Most people picked up more gems, it looks like, instead of just charging through the levels. But, oh well, that's something to work on tomorrow. Or, I might play a different game tomorrow. I don't know, it's probably going to be a lot of Spelunky, at the very least. But thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.